The Roots and Fruits Preschool here in Red Bank in South Portland is closed down. Another daycare is moving in next month, but it will inherit some of the same issues plaguing daycares across the state. They're packing up and moving out, the director, Gina Forbes, saying COVID exacerbated the underlying financial issues in the field of child care. A survey of 470 child care centers in Maine found 58 percent of them are understaffed, 41 percent operating at a deficit, and 43 percent have a growing wait list. This is causing places like One Tree Center to close down. Holly McLaughlin plans to open Chickadee Infant and Toddler Care in the very same spot next month. She will face many of the same problems, unable to find enough staff, willing to work for $15, $16 an hour. I can't ask parents to pay a $50,000 tuition so that I can pay a teacher $20 an hour. Both the outgoing and incoming daycare directors say outside financial help is the only way to solve the problem. The only answer is to, to bring this, um, this crisis to our governor and to our president. There's no other way to fix it. We have to have help. The future of early childhood education, including daycares and preschool programming, um, really needs to be seen as public infrastructure and invested in that way. Uh, families can't afford to pay the true cost of child care, and we need to raise wages for early childhood educators. And I think the only way to do that is if we create a sustainable system where public funds are, are supporting uh, early childhood education. As far as any federal and state monies that might come, that remains to be seen, and many other places in the same boat might be forced to close. In South Portland, Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.